<laughs> what does Marcus do down there, sir? Because I'm bragging about Marcus. Well, not only Marcus, but the entire, um, I don't want to say the entire, but many of your students at yeah, International Academy of Flint not only volunteer, but uh, are part of the yeah. Juneteenth workforce. That's great. As you may or That's may great. not know, we produce a, um, a publication called the Juneteenth Tabloid, and we distribute over 25,000 of them door to door using IAF students. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's so, a wonderful thing. So, unknowingly, I didn't realize that what you just mentioned, sir, <laughs> but I know Rashawn's probably in that and Rayshawn, Trayvon, Zachary, <laughs> Paul, Marcus, and about nine other kids okay. this year. Very good. We're proud to be able to help you, sir. Thank we you. We appreciate we it. We appreciate that as well. Okay, thank you. We'll bring you back in a few minutes, so take a rest. You, you don't scare, you don't scare me. You don't downhill. scare me. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> well, let's pop over to our little people again and I'll talk a little bit more about them. Um, let's see, we're, you talk a little bit about the school. I'm gonna ask you the typical question and who I'll probably go with Zipporah first first because that was the sequence. Tell us, dear, your favorite subjects and who your teacher is because you didn't mention that person. My teacher is Miss Watson and my favorite subject is math. Math, wow. What are you doing in math right now? Well, we're talking a little bit about fractions, and we're doing division, multiplication, and... Well, you just passed me up, so... <laughs> How about you, Erica? <laughs> yeah, that flew over okay. my head. <laughs> That's great, because <clears throat> we know Miss Watson pretty good. That's I know she good. loves to teach that. And I know you have Spanish, too, every day, mm. don't you? Mm. Who's your Spanish teacher, honey? Miss Ferreira. Miss <laughs> Rendon? Miss Ferreira. Oh, Ferreira. Okay, very good. Do you know what country she's from? Mexico. I think she's from Paraguay, isn't she? I think so. I think so. She was on our program. I'm pretty sure she is, Miss Carol, Sister Carolyn. Okay, let's jump <laughs> over to uh, Syke. What about you, dear Sky? I mean, what about uh, your favorite subjects, your teacher? And I've tell us a little bit. My teacher name is Miss Watson. Um. I like math because it is very fun. We get to multiply, subtract, and add. Okay. And I just love my teachers. Okay, that's great. You like Spanish too? Mm, I, I, <laughs> not particularly. <laughs> that head is shaking the wrong way. <laughs> All right, so that's it. And tell us about, uh, oh, I know you, I always see you going to lunch and you're always grinning when you're going to lunch. Tell us about lunch. What do you guys eat? Uh, different stuff every day. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite lunch? Pizza. Okay, that's every Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Miss Hollins, what do you, you like pizza too or something else? Uh, nachos. Nachos and cheese. Okay, all right. Okay, well, um, Miss Erica, I know you're, of course, not mother, but I know you, you and your sister are pretty close. Um, as far as what we do as a school, are, are you pleased with what we do, how we're doing it? Do you feel we're, we're advancing her the, at the proper rate? Can you talk a little bit about that? Wow, Sky is just really have been, it's really been amazing when Sky comes home. She's been, it, we see so much work that's been going on at the schools through mm -hmm. her. Actually, Sky is very well, um, speaks very, speaks Spanish, I'm sorry, very well. Um, I don't know why that's not her favorite subject, but okay. she can sing in Spanish. Oh and yeah. I'm just, we're both, me and Kalika Harris, we are okay. both very pleased, um, not only with her educational level, um, like I said, she's probably reading maybe at a ninth grade level and but we're also very pleased wow. with the staff and okay. it's like a family it's not like Here a school it's like a yeah. family so the, um Here we are you know the close-knit with the teachers and the parents constantly you know interacting with one another mm -hmm. and we're just very pleased we're okay. very very pleased we're international okay. so. and she's reading at that you think that level wow sky is it's amazing. Yeah. They're doing their job over there. Okay. They're doing a really Great. good job at the International Academy, along with mom. Okay. I'm going to leave mom well, up, but I, I know Ms. working Watson as a works team together, really they're doing really yeah. good over there. Okay, that is good. Mom, um, thank you for supporting us at home with what, because I know we have homework all the time. Yes. I know you know about that, and I know they go, <laughs> but we have it. And uh, it wouldn't get done unless there were parents that, that insisted on setting a time aside to, right. to have that occur. Okay. All right, let's jump over. Mr. Hollins, let's yes. ask you a question about that as well. Um, I don't know how close you are with um, your granddaughter related to homework and mm -hmm. in that arena. Can you comment a little bit about that, sir? Oh, yeah. I am uh, very impressed with the homework 
And actually, oh. uh, when I see the homework that they have to do, it just kind of blows my mind. I said, this, you know, my granddaughter's in the third grade. Mm -hmm. But the, they're teaching them the metric system, converting centimeters into millimeters and working with kilograms. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, actually, they're doing a little algebra, you know, and a little geometry. Sister working. Carolyn. <laughs> Did you just hear that? Yeah. We're working. doing a little algebra in grade three. Uh-huh. Little uh, right angles and perpendicular okay. angles. Okay. And actually, uh, what I did, I took one of Zipporah's homework assignments to work with me. Did and you? I, and I emailed, Tell us. I emailed yeah. it to my coworkers, and uh, they were just shocked. I didn't know this. <laughs> this is so funny. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And I'm always bragging about her school. I really well, am. Well, thank you. I'm always bragging about the school, and uh, I am. But International Academy to be is top notch. What What did your coworkers say? Did they but did you stump any of them? It, yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> uh, one of her assignments, I emailed it to them, and. Uh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this, but only one person got all the answers oh. right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. Well, let's talk to that adult. Maybe we'll enroll him. Okay. Yeah, and and to piggyback her. on what he was saying, it's so ah. awesome to see them being challenged like that. And it's almost like a refresher course, like he said, for the parents because the homework is so challenging. So when we see it, we're like, wow, you know, yeah. we're getting a learning course ourselves, you know, refresher. with the homework. Yeah. And by them being so challenged, they're so excited to come home and complete these things. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Okay. And National wow. Academy is a lot of fun. Oh, that's great to hear. But parents, it's so important. No matter what school your kids go to, yeah. if there's homework, get it done right now when they, when they get there. Set aside a time for them to work quietly with that blasted TV off and those crazy games. Let that be a, a secondary thing. Get, get No matter what school they go to, sit them down and get that uh, homework out of the way and talk with them about it. Don't just say, go do. And maybe you don't understand all of it, but at least talk with them about it and have them explain it to you. Because it's difficult. If you can explain something clearly, that helps you understand it. And, of course, that would in, you know, be an advantage to your children. So, again, I preached a little bit, so forgive me. <laughs> Um, maybe we could, it's about a little bit past halfway in this program, and we got to pop back to Mr. Herring. Now, we got made a name tag for Mr. Herring, and this is what this name tag says for the radio people. It says, Spectacle Productions, Juneteenth Celebration, and Man About Town. <laughs> and we know that's you, because every, every, you're on city council meetings, you're filming those, and you do a host of things. And I know you're at the uh, big event at Atwood last week as well. You're literally everywhere, and it's a pleasure to see you so involved, sir. Tell us just a little bit more about the program or anything you'd like to do, my friend. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is give out the phone number. Please. So people that are listening and want to get involved in this year's Juneteenth celebration can give me a call. It's 810-239-2901. Uh, That's 810 810- Two three nine two nine zero one, and of course I don't do all this by myself. No. Name some I committee members. I have a committee uh, yeah, that, that's been with me for twenty years. This is our twentieth year. Got some new members this year, but Catherine Blake's been with us twenty years. Mm -hmm. Sister Janice Muhammad's twenty years. Mrs. E. Hill Deloney, twenty years. Oh, Jarvis gosh. Richardson, some eight years. Uh, some of our newer members are Anjane, and she's only new because she's come of age. Okay. She's been participating for twenty years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time she's been on the committee. I've got okay. uh, George Booker on the committee. I've got Erica Williams on the committee. And uh, new this year, we've got Lynn Folks. He's over mm -hmm. there Full Gospel Christian Church. He's going to do our first annual cook-off cookout down wow. in Riverbank wow. Park. Mm -hmm. That'll be what park? Right at Broom? Right in Riverbank Park. <clears throat> Riverbank, We're going to take okay. over the okay. Garland Street Bridge. He's promised me 40 barbecue cookers. Okay. <laughs> wow. And it's just going to be on in downtown Flint. So a, a preacher promised you something. Well, 